uh, the Marcel Sportist. It will also be a new reoccurring character on the Cow Cat Show. And here is one of his belts. You can see that he, uh, he uh, unofficially got this belt. Yeah, they're all unofficial. It's all off <laughs> yeah. the internet. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, instead, of, instead of making up stories about all of the uh, you know, elaborate ways that the, the kitty key, the, the cow cat guy, uh, it's also called. I did used to train in martial arts many years ago. Yeah, actually, you so, had yeah, some of these belts. Or, black belt. So, so I figured uh, as I figured that I would, and, and so I'm not pretending that I know tempo or anything like that. And more or less, I went on the YouTube and I said, "Ooh, I can watch more stuff and, and copy that." So here, what I've, what, I've, what I've done here is a got a cat grabbing my foot. The gag here is the martial sportist. The martial sportist is Kitty Key. He's a uh, He's a kitty key. He's one of the kitty key people. Um, um, and and the martial sportist is the uh, is 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 a Ronin without a master, but he's a master without a clue. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so a Ronin is a warrior without a master. Sort of like Wolverine, you know. Which, yeah. um, so here we have a belt and a cat going crazy for it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna put the white belt on. <laughs> Put on the white belt, okay? Putting the white belt on in the traditional. Oh wait, traditional style here. Okay, put the white belt on. And this is a uh, Tiger Claw white belt uniform, martial art karate uniform. It is not associated with any martial arts school, so not even the old one East Trent. And uh, <laughs> in fact, this looks way cooler than the white. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like this new style. It's got like these, it doesn't all flappy around. It's just pull it over. It's like tsh, there it is. It's like it keeps you from getting all that. See if you're sparring, it keeps you from getting the uh, your foot, somebody's foot caught in the tassels and stuff. Ah, yeah, it doesn't happen anymore. Oh, I don't well, that was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Um yeah. So so he's a he's a white belt here, so he's not pretty good. He's like uh, uh, white belt. <laughs> it's been a while since I actually put one of these on in the park. There there's a bunch of people in the park, these older guys they are like um, doing like Tai Chi and Kempo and stuff and they're like Chinese. The old like master guys in the like, in the park. And one time they lost their video and they put up a sign that they were looking for their Chinese video. And <laughs> And stuff, and they would do like uh, bow training, bong staff training. They would say like a uh, the bong staff, you know. I don't know where their video went, but they found it eventually. But they, um, the uh, you know, the bong staff. They say the bong in Korean, but uh, it's not really the kind of bong where you go. Looks a little different. That does. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a bong. It's water. And so, uh, yeah, sure it is, yeah. It's marijuana, it's, it's marijuana. So here we have some other kitty key belts in here. Kitty key belt. Ah. See, the, the uniform, normally uh, the, the, at a regular martial arts school will cost you probably 50 bucks for the uniform. Yep. Uh, the uniform here off the internet was about that with the, with the belt. Yeah, so. <laughs> Well, it wasn't cheaper, but it was—it's an authentic styled one, and it's not from any. There's no affiliation on the back. Mark's cards was thinking maybe it should be something goofy on the back, like a, <laughs> you know, like a, a big, a big, you know, a dildo or something. Oops. But uh, well. <laughs> or, or or a pony or something cute or, you know, a cat. Something sort of surreal and inappropriate without being dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dildo probably wouldn't work. You might get flagged on YouTube for that. <laughs> so let's so let's uh, go on to the next belt and have him get another belt, the white belt. He's going to get another belt, and um, this one was January, and then uh, and since uh, since I'm giving myself belts, which is hilarious, uh, many many um uh, many there there are places out there that that do that that just hand out belts randomly and. They don't have to earn them. Exactly. Well, I earned black many belts years ago, so this is a sort of a, a, a farce. This is a joke. These these belts were purchased, so they're not like I'm not going around saying I'm a super ultra uber master grandmaster. I'm not saying that. It's a joke. 
Mm -hmm. So here we have another part of coster. Here we come to yeah, my old belts are under there. I'm not going to get those out because so let's see, why are you showing those? Ah, you don't mm -hmm. go there anymore. <laughs> so I figured, yeah. Okay, 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 let's see. We have a nice, crisp, not even labeled, not even named belt. I was figuring what I could do is that other characters that are Cal Cat associates could wear these other belts at given times. Like Ninja Turtles. You got like the colors in here. So this could be Silly Kelly or something. Or, or maybe the irony is it's Kitty Key himself who didn't get promoted. Be fun, kind of funny. <laughs> but, uh, you know, because it's all about being humble and having, you know, and then not really being humble. Because so, <laughs> you bought yourself some belts. <laughs> what are you trying to do? You make yourself super ultra yellow belt here. Super ultra yellow belt. Now this is a five and it's still tight and crispy. Crispy and tight. And I'm going to show you stuff. Parlor tricks and stuff. Excellent. Later on. I'm going to show you how we did a lot of our stuff. Because why not? Yeah. <laughs> Let the cat out of the bag. I don't even do other things. Well, when we get, I'll get a bow staff, a bong, <laughs> a bong, a bow staff, and I'll do like, uh, I'll do some bow staff tricks and some other stuff. Hopefully there will be fails, because mm. that'll be awesome. Hopefully there will be some screw-ups. Well, they're not horribly injured, but that'll be funny. It's been a number of years, so they probably will be. <laughs> <laughs> but but I would like to do that uh, that long staff, not to do the bricks oh, thing, yeah. which... Uh, some people on the internet were saying, oh, it's really hard to do, oh. No, it's not. <laughs> not with momentum, not with enough speed. You can do it. You can train a white belt to do it. I bet Mark's cards could, could do the, the bow staff. Probably thing. could. Swing the, swing the staff, like, you know, like a sword. If the staff is dense enough, it's like made out of wood, mm -hmm. it's going through that brick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bri a brick is actually not that hard to break. It's porous. Yeah, so here we have a yellow belt. Yellow belt, sun rising. Okay, yellow belt. Okay, and um, yeah, so this is not the beginning of some weird school that's going to like go viral or anything. I'm not going to have any students, so don't worry. <laughs> no. Wow, that belt it. is really stiff. It's sticking yeah, out like, it's brand new. It's like wings. Wing belt, five. I always had belts that were, and uniforms that were slightly larger than my actual size. I didn't. I was overcompensating for something. <laughs> but yeah, um, yes, belt size is associated with the size of the male. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. That's probably what it was. Oh, you know what? You know what, Mr. Miyagi and Karate Kid said. Oh, black belt, dollar ninety-five. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Actually, nowadays, a black belt costs you. Fourteen dollars and ninety-five cents. <laughs> well, that's inflation for you. Now, now here. We <laughs> so here we have, um, cause, cause, yeah, um, totally just screwing around. The the cow cat, the, the martial sportist. This is all behind the scenes stuff, I guess, or stuff that's gonna be. I don't know. Yep. But I'm gonna show you. Right up here, the yellow belt. Okay, let's go on to uh, the next belt rank. I didn't want to have buy all the belt ranks, partly because it would be way too expensive. All of these different belts, all together, about ten bucks a piece. Mm. Kind of expensive for all of Yeah. This came with a uniform, so it was like almost fifty. Okay, we're gonna put on the. Uh, I'll just. Uh, actually, the Koreans. Are you ready to film me? Mm-hmm. The Koreans didn't weren't the only ones that came up with the belt ranks. Karate schools, Kempo uh, Taekwondo schools, Bushido, Mugangdo, all those there. They all do that. Mainly the belt ranks are designed for the for younger generations of kids wanna wanna have achievements, so they give them different belts. You know? Yeah. And to go up in rank. Whereas the masters and stuff, um they, they just I guess the traditional ones, they probably didn't have belts back in the day. They probably just had a belt, and they just sort of, you know, the old, uh, like in the Karate Kid. Well, the they Kung didn't Fu need movies. to advertise their rank. They no, didn't, they, they didn't just wore a belt, pulled ranks. their pants up. Yeah, just, so they just had a belt. So, so um, you know, the equivalent Kung Fu belts are different, but, uh, but uh, like, Bruce Lee would have been considered 
I can say he would have been a grandmaster. Definitely, he would have been uh, super high up. So I'm going to use a just a green as the next one, just to show off this belt that is not labeled for any school. Another tiger claw belt, and uh, put this one on, and then uh, look really pretty. <laughs> pretty silly, but yeah, here we have a green one. Maybe this could be Tom Brookston or something. Yes, if if I got you an outfit, it would uh, it would be hilarious too. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking that uh, when we were thinking earlier that we should do the pinball wizard song parody from years ago. And and you should be one of the uh, guys in the pinball with it. <laughs> and you should it, have the garish outfit. Right. Like Elton John. Green belt. Earth green stuff. Uh, earth bending. <laughs> yeah. That was about as convincing as in the uh, Shyamalan movie. Yeah, he's all, move a rock. Yeah, you got to move your hands for about five minutes and then gradually, very slowly, like a potato will move. He completely got that wrong. Yeah, so he, he got that wrong. So, um, so here we have the green belt. I keep picking my face. Uh, here we have the green belt. Face bender. Uh, most, uh, most of the karate schools and stuff, it takes, takes a year and a half, two years or something to get all the way up high ranks because cause they're, they're McDojos or they're Bullshito. Like on the yeah, internet, they, no McDojos. they dish out the belts to keep you coming back. Yeah, so the kids come back and pay more money. And, and the adults too. So, uh. But at a certain, yeah, de a certain degree, you're supposed to actually know this stuff. Yeah, they just, they just, they just <coughs> yeah, that's fine. I have uh, great great nephews and great nieces that are black belts, but <laughs> they're way younger. But that's okay, uh, you know. But uh, I get, um. Well, the thing too is like knowing your forms isn't the same thing as knowing how to fight. Exactly. Like, in a, in a real fight, the person who lands the first punch in the face is probably going to be the winner. Exactly. As a testament of many YouTube fails that I've seen, including infamous Australian martial artist fail guy who, who broke a board and sent the board sailing into oh, a student's yeah. face, apparently. Kid was like, ah! <laughs> like, this was a black belt. Apparently, it wasn't watching where the breaking guy was holding the board. Yeah, and he just nailed one of his students. He was an adult. Probably ten years younger than me. Well, just because you're an adult doesn't mean you know what in the heck you're doing. <laughs> Here we have blue. This is ocean. Water. Blue. Good color. Um, yeah, Brookston. Silly Kelly is probably yellow, though, because he's silly. <laughs> so here we have blue ocean. Looks a little longer than the other ones, even though it's a. I think it's also a five. Blue, yep. Tiger claw. We are not. Tiger claw is not our endorser. We are not getting any money from Tiger claw belts. However, I think back in the day, my old school I used to train did actually have a deal. With it. We don't. I don't. Our card says, I don't. Nope. Money with Tiger claw. It's just a brand name. Not, not that I wouldn't like to sell out and get some money. Yeah, I would totally. That could totally they, sell. They, uh, they're not beating a path to our door ah. right now. Okay, uh, my blue belt, you should know all the key forms. You should know about making balls of energy and shooting them like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> see, did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> see? The energy ball, there it is. Look, I'm earth bending. Potato bender. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that was actually a better action scene than in that movie. <laughs> and it's like it's like okay, earth bending. Yeah. Um. So it's like yeah. Oh, there you go. Um. Also, um, I'll teach you about how that works, and all the parlor tricks, all as many as I know, anyway. But I'm not gonna do a bed of nails. Uh, yeah, not that might be idea. a little too piercing for him. <laughs> not to do a bed of nails. All right, now we're going to go on to, uh, these are all belts that were purchased. These are not the belts from the old school. So here we go. Um, so I'm not going to run around saying, I'm the blue belt again. <laughs> no, no. The best way to win fight is not to be in fight. Yes. Remember that. Oh, don't kill one at all. 
Try to get away. Yell loudly and run off. <laughs> <laughs> or if you can't convince them, confuse them. Be mm. like, oh, what? I didn't mean to fight you. Or just act kind of crazy and then they leave you alone. Or just lean in and plant a big wet smacker right on. Or that might get you shot, but... <laughs> it depends, depends on who they are. <laughs> well, if it's in the city, they, then they'd kiss you back, but that's not in the city. We're about 40 mi 50 miles from the city, right, in San Francisco? So, uh, maybe down there they give you a smack right back. He just browned the earth, even more earth bendy earth earth. I don't have a red belt, but you get a red one for fun, because red was a fun color. Red is earth. Oh. Red would be fire, actually. Red would be fire, but brown belt is earth. Yes. A red belt isn't the case for many other belt ranks. They add that belt in Taekwondo and Mushido and some of the others. They add red belts. It's actually goes to just brown to black. Yeah, the more belts they can dish yeah. out, the more testing. And this is the very limit, limit of, of belts. Kempo, Judo, and Karate. Just that very limit. Only a few of them there. And now we have the brown belt. I'm facing this way because there's no master. master All right. Okay. Here we have another belt. Well, but I think that the uh, the kid, the martial sports kid, kid guy is going to actually wear the master belt because it's funnier. At Fanime. So, uh, so when we are going, I am going to. I don't think Mark's cards is going to go to Fanime, but uh, okay. I hadn't planned on it. But yeah, I'm going to go to Fanime, and maybe I'll get some. Delightful footage of the costume parade going by. Hmm. Maybe with that camera. I mean, as long as I've got one too and they've got one too, there shouldn't be a problem, should they? Think no, so. they just don't like you filming inside the panels. No, I wouldn't be able to get in the panels anyway. Because the panel thing would be $50 more and I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going in the panels, so they don't know we worry about that. <laughs> so yeah, so we have brown. This little beauty. This is technically, I think this is technically a Kempo black belt, which is hilarious because, no, I, I don't have um, size and katanas and <laughs> Kempo weapons. I guess Pro you could count probably my, make some. Yeah, it's just, I guess you could count my uh, balsa sword back here and my balsa ray gun. Uh, yeah, here you, go. you know, honestly, if you have a gun, you kind of don't need a belt. <laughs> exactly. And my balsa sword, you know. Okay. Um, here is, I think this is actually a size 6, so it's a longer one. And this is a Kempo Master. It's an Oreo belt. It's not associated with any school. It's uh, Tiger Claw again. Ooh, they keep sending, oh, radar belts, radar belts. Uh, you know how when you buy something on YouTube, they send you things saying radar stuff. Well, how can I rate it either good or bad if I don't want everybody to know that I I mean, I could rate it. I could say, yes, it's a fine belt, but, you know. <laughs> but I haven't worn it yet, so I can't rate it until I put it. So I'm going to put it on and show me how it does. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there's Kitty Key's Master, master Without a Clue. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have... The belt I never possibly could have earned at the other school at all. Um, but at this point, I was still there eight years later, or well, seven years later, well, I'm dating myself, seven years later, I would be a master. But here is a belt that I never heard. <laughs> but of course, it's pet purchased for $14.99 or so. <laughs> and actually, shipping and handling was almost as much as the purchase. I don't know why. Why shipping was 12 bucks. I don't know. Hmm. Did they order it from Ch China or something? They probably uh, overcharged on the shipping and pocketed the rest. Probably. I should have bought two of them. I should have bought a red one too. Then I would have had them both together. But when I tried to get two of them, it wouldn't let me do that for some reason. So they wanted to rip it off. Of course, actually to get this in any school, if you're like earning it, by then, you would have been like, to get to a master level, you would have been like, any, any one of these McDojos, McDojos, <laughs> you would have been like, you would have been like, in, in the pocket, in the, 
for thousands of dollars by then. It would have been like ridiculous. Oh yeah. It would have been like, oh my god, and then your testing would have been like $500 or something, or $600, and you would have been like, just to get a belt, and you probably didn't get the fun stuff, like being tied to the chair, and doing that, you know, that cool stuff, or being tied to a jug, or, or having like, or having like a, you know, break the bottle, or do that, all the other stuff, you know, they just put a board out there. At least the other school, they, they had uh, lots of bricks to break. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, um, and here we have kitty, mm. kitty cat. We have Cadabra, Cadabra kitty. Mwah. She's a master of cat man doe, or cat, kitty cat doe, is it? She is a, she's a master. She, she knows all the techniques. Yes, she's, she's a master. Yeah. You're a master of kitty mando. Meow. Look at that grace, that poise. That if you don't put me down, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> kitty key. Key being key energy, of course. Mm. You can get that one. Key, key energy, yes. Yeah. So basically, it's air and stuff. Like it's the force. The force. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yes, the force. Oh, by the way, you know this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mitochondria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mito my metachlorines. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dark up being spotted. See, this one insult anybody. It doesn't look like it. I go to the. Thing is a costume. I can't imagine anybody's going to have any problem whatsoever. <laughs> it's going to be like, oh, there's not if, enough. If on anybody that asks thing. you, like, are you an actual student, you can just say no, but I used to be. <laughs> a long time ago, walking around their belt. <laughs> yeah. I figured it would look better than just that clean cow it's, poke it's not like you're wearing, like, you know, the Pope's outfit or something. It's yeah, just, yeah, like, with a papal hat. Oh, well, you should. Although that would be kind of cool, like a martial art outfit. With a Pope's hat. Thunk. Kind of like a, like Fanime when I saw DJ Hooves there. Oh, yeah. That, that costume must have been hot. Oh, my goodness. I mean, like, warm inside, you know? No, you meant hot. Uh, yeah, hot. I don't know if it was a male or female. I could tell. You're a total brony. Yeah. Or how about that Fox one that would have the Star Trek outfit? Oh, yeah. You know what was funny is, like, the first day of Fanime last year, I was like, like, there should be a guy that sticks all kinds of YouTube things and, like, internet things all over himself and comes as spamware. Because that would be awesome. And I said that, and I was walking around the first day, and then the next day I saw a guy dressed in camos and stuff and a hat, and he had the stuff all over him. And I was all like, you're spamware, you're adware, aren't you? He's all like, yep. So I was just thinking about that yesterday. <laughs> there should be a guy dressed like adware. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Adler. She'd be like walking around going, block, block me. <laughs> Should have a guy, a guy named Norton Antivirus following you around. <laughs> I could have used an antivirus at the last toy show that we went to. Oh, yeah, yeah anti uh, flu virus. All these viruses are like nailing us and stuff. I got it after you got it. Nasty bug season. <laughs> Everybody's had it. Everyone. She. <laughs> Everybody's had it. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if I know anything still. Some forms or something. Screwing around here. <laughs> do I know anything? Let's see. I can do this. <laughs> oh. I just oh, made that up. bad. Remember, you're many years out of flexibility. <laughs> Don't strain yeah, yourself. Yeah, I'll be like uh, two minutes from now. I'll be like, oh fuck. And the next footage will be the ambulance picking you up on a stretcher. No, I'm actually in more shape than that. I'm not. <laughs> if you tried it, you'd be like, oh, I'm the high kick. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Ow. Leg no, I can't move. Wrong way. <laughs> be like John Elway in that football thing. Exactly. Your knee will go like this. 
Ah! Oh, that yeah. would suck! Hmm. If you'll stare at something long enough, it will leave, a, it will leave an imprint behind. <laughs> That's not magic. Ew, so yeah, um... It's hilarious that he's called the Marshall's Sportist, because often the Bullshitos in McDojo, and Bullshitos a website, but it's become a, a term. If you look on, like, Urban Dictionary, and you look at McDojo or Bullshito, after all these years, since it started like seven years ago or so, eight years ago, it's like, it's like the term for a martial art that's bull. <laughs> well, McDojo has been around since McDojo's the McDojo has been around forever. But yeah. So, yeah, it's like, um, yeah, so I'm not ripping on any particular group. Um, just general making fun of something that was fun back in the day. Because <laughs> why not? And so, yeah, um... And nobody has the copyright to chi energy anyway, really. I mean, the uh, ancient Chinese thought of that thousands of years ago, right? Yep. It's like, come on. Yeah, no, no, nobody's going to be offended. <laughs> chi. <laughs> <laughs> but he you know, he did. He yeah, he had some awesome stuff. Bruce Lee did. And he, he was a kung fu guy though. He did kung fu, tai chi, and stuff. Chuck Norris. Oh yeah. He can do anything with his yeah. Chuck Norris is a meme almost. He's like, he's one of the, his contemporaries. David Carradine in Kung Fu was one of his contemporaries too. Don't think David Carradine actually knew much in the way of martial arts. No, he didn't. Especially in the the newer series where he was like ninety years old and still, like pretending to beat up bad guys who had to kind of slow mo throw themselves into his fist. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if he was ninety, but he was definitely old. He's 70 or something. Yeah. But yeah, Chuck Norris is uh, kind of out there too. Even in the, even the, the yeah, but, uh, yeah. Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee. Although the, the, technically the term Grandmaster is pr fairly modern. They would just say Master back then in the old, old times. They would just say Master. Because it's like, you would have to be like ancient to be really a Grandmaster. You'd have to be like, you no, know, one of those guys in the mountain or something. You couldn't just be like 25 or something. <laughs> You'd be like 60 or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but Bruce Lee was a badass. Costume, here it is. Actually a costume. The other costumes, the last two Fanimes, I really wasn't in a costume. I think this will actually fit in better. It'll look more like, oh, he's actually in a costume with a camera. So, okay. Maybe we'll, <laughs> Maybe we'll uh, ask each other questions. Who and his nickname is, I guess, he's still Cal Cat, but his nickname is Kitty K. So. Grandmaster of, of Mirth. <laughs> Tempo Bell, that's funny. They had a red and black one too, that looked pretty. Yeah. It's a belt, it's an accessory. <laughs> an accessory. This is cool. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get naked now. You're gonna. Well, I'm just gonna keep on filming now. <laughs> They get YouTube, this will go on X-Tube. You want to twerk. <laughs> You've got more of an ass than Miley Cyrus. Eh? <laughs>